again, Transformer fans. You're back with Optimus and another video review. And today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Voyager class Autobot Blaster. Now this was a really, really popular figure. It is selling out everywhere. And if you'd like to know where I get my toys, I get them from BigBadToyStore.com. And as you can see by the card, yes, I get my Transformers there. They are just awesome. And check them out. And like I said, this guy, the, the pre-order sold out. I've only seen it in one store, and they only had two of them, and they were gone that same day. I said, this guy is just really popular because he is just so cool. This is a great representation of the G1 Blaster. Just, you know, like I said, instead of being a boombox, he is now a communications vehicle. Very cool. Now, instead of cassettes, he has data discs, just like Soundwave. But, first and foremost, we will take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see, the box here. Let me raise this up just a little bit. There they are, Transformers Generations. You see a nice photo of Blaster there and Steel Jaw, which comes with the figure. There's all about Blaster, Fall of Cybertron. Over here, first series, you can see all about symbol. And over here, let me adjust this a little bit. This is a Nice drawing of the other data disks that uh, are meant for this blaster figure, and they have also come out. I don't have them yet, but I am still looking for them. I'm waiting for them to arrive, but yeah, they're... Let me adjust the light here. Okay. But yeah, there they are. That is... Uh, Rewind, Eject, Sunder, and Ramhorn in this photo. And then on the back, you see Steeljaw, Blaster, and his vehicle in robot modes. And here is his bio, which says, Autobot Blaster has amassed an incredible collection of music from across the galaxy. From hundreds of worlds, he's gathered the loudest, fastest, most brutal ear-splitting, guitar-shredding rock and roll he could find. When you charge into battle alongside Autobot Blaster, you are accompanied by a thunderous soundtrack of which the mightiest Viking would approve. And that's one of the reasons why I've always liked Blaster, because he always liked the rock and roll stuff. The good stuff, the real music. But that's it for the packaging. And we will go ahead and get to the figure here. Like I said, this guy is just really, really cool. I love this figure. Quick comparison, vehicle mode. Here is Decepticon Soundwave. As you can see, it's basically the same mold. Just, just a slightly different. On the blaster here, you have the wheels. And in the center of each wheel, it kind of looks like... Uh, it's kind of like the center imprint of the Autobot symbol, I guess, maybe. But that's really cool looking. But, of course, obviously, you can see the wheels are different. This has the translucent purple tires and the silver rims with the different design. This one has, like, gray tires. Of course, it's all plastic. And the gold wheels with that little symbol in the center. But yeah, they are, like I said, basically the same mold. Both very, very cool figures. And as you can see... They have their respective weapons. Oh. Pop that open there. Okay. Yeah, this is a Soundwave shoulder cannon. And here is Blaster's laser rifle. And again, another great representation of the G1 weapon that he has. And they just did an incredible job with it using the same colors and everything. And it is just fantastic. I mean, check it out, the vehicle mode. I mean, just just looks great. I said, I waited so long for this guy. I couldn't wait for it to get here, and he is just spectacular. 
that are used on the front. And of course, this time, instead of you know, the, the red Autobot symbol sticker that you see on the G1 figure, they painted a white Autobot symbol, which doesn't look bad. Now, of course, if you wanted the red one on there, like I said, you order some Autobot stickers, you, you take a red one and just stick over top of that if you wanted to, to make it red. But like I said, that one doesn't look bad. It looks, actually looks really good. But a great representation. Very, very nice. I do like it. Like I said, it's a communications vehicle now. It does roll. But it's very, very cool. I do like it. And of course, inside, you can lower this down and hit the button here. It's right here. That will pop open. And inside is Steel Jaw. Now then, I will try to attempt this because this is supposed to work in, well, it does work in vehicle mode and robot mode, but I'll go ahead and try this in vehicle mode where he is supposed to pop out of here. He just slides this forward. Okay. I'm sorry, I always have trouble with this in vehicle mode. It always seems easier in robot mode, but... Okay, this, he doesn't want to come out. I'm trying, but he does not want to come out. But Okay, we're having issues here. He doesn't want to come out. But anyway... I, I got to do it once. But anyway, it is supposed to come out. Sometimes if you get it in there a certain way, it just has problems coming out. But anyway, I'll show you that in the robot mode. I should be able to get it out. But anyway, as far as transformation, just take his little laser rifle off there. And first we are going to untab the back end on both sides. Flip the feet out, just like so. I'm going to take these, rotate them down till they tab into place, just like so. And you're going to untab this section here and bring the legs down. And then this, once again, just like Soundwave, has the two tabs here. We'll tab up in here. Just push on it until it tabs in. There you have that. And that's pretty much it for his feet and legs. Now the arms. Just want to bring these back. Of course, he has the nice ratcheting arms. Then you're going to rotate these front wheels back. I want to raise the camera up because he is getting tall. You bring this section up and back. And you want to take this and just rotate it down like this. We'll just leave that there for the moment. Now you want to take this and just open it up. And then untab these from the sides. Like that, and then you want to just kind of rotate it to where these things go up, just like that, and then bring the arm down, do the same on the other side, bring that piece up, arm down, then take these flaps here, close them up, just like so, take the forearms, rotate them this way. Now we can go ahead and finish this back piece up. Just what you want to do is just raise that up like that. And then you can push this gray piece forward just like that so this piece is sticking out. And then just kind of push it up as far as it'll go. It won't go all the way up with the disc inside. When the disc is out, it will go all the way against his back. But there he is. And the one last thing here is his fist. Now these are kind of a little bit hard to get a hold of. 
I think sound waves are a little bit easier. But I said you just got to kind of reach in there and get an edge of it. Okay, there we go. Let's lift the hand out like so. Do the same on the other side. All right, that one's a lot easier. There we go. All right, and here you have Blaster in his robot mode. Very, very cool figure. Like I said, of just a great representation of the G1 figure. They did a, just an awesome job on this. I do love it, especially with the head. I mean, let me show you here. Just a really, really nice head sculpt. I mean, this is just Blaster all the way. And, of course, you can see the nice blue light piping he's got in his eyes. Just very, very nice. It just lights up a brilliant blue. Just awesome. But yeah, he just looks great. And as far as his weapon goes, he can take his gun and hold it in his hand. Classic G1 style. And now we're going to see if we can get Steel Jaw out of his chest. So. Like I said, here's the button. We're just going to push that, pop his chest open. Of course, there you see Steel Jaw. Go back here, pull this back. All right, I want to try this. He's got to come out. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I can see the front or the top coming, wanting to come forward, but the bottom is being very difficult. But it is just not wanting to come out for some reason. It has to come out. I need it to come out. Okay, this isn't good. <laughs> I'm very sorry. He, I never had this much problem with him coming out. I think it it's probably has to do with the way I put him in there. I probably didn't put him in there the way I, I originally did the first time. Because it's not wanting to come out. And... Let me try. I probably can't do it this way, but I'm going to try. No, I don't think so. I think they really, on both these figures, if, if the hole would have been made a little bit bigger, the hair a bit bigger, maybe even an eighth of an inch, th this wouldn't even be a problem. Okay, there I got it out. Yes! <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you this now. Pulls up the chest. Like I said, without the disc in there, this will go all the way back. There he is. I just thought I can show you. I'm going to just put this in data disc mode here just real quick. But here he is. Steel jaw. Nice yellow data disc with a nice gold and black... Uh, computer chip paint job there and right here in the center nice little black Autobot symbol really cool like I said this has an auto transform gimmick little button down here so I'll just try to show you here you just as soon as it hits it will transform but on uh, these guys here like this one in Ravage you do have to finish it so Basically, all you have to do is take the legs, just bring that part back, and then flip these back legs around to finish the transformation. Bring that down, pull this tail down. And there you go. There you have Steel Jaw. Try to give you a little closer look at Steel Jaw here. Very nice. I like that little yellow lion head. Just very cool. Very nice figure. Now, like I said, I have not had that problem with this before. Like I said, the last time I did this, I put Steel Jaw in his chest, and he just popped out of there with no problem at all. He came flying out, transformed. Like I said, I think it had to do with the way I put him in there. I think I might have put him in there kind of in a wrong direction from what I did before so I think that was probably the main reason why he didn't want to come out there but 
like I said, I'm going to work on that and see which way I am putting it in there. So I will put it in the same way every time. So I won't have that problem anymore. But yeah, you just, like I said, push that down, pull this back. It'll just fit right in there. And close the chest. And there you go. That is blaster. Very awesome. Very cool. And for a quick comparison, just move him over there. Here he is with Soundwave in robot mode. Just so you can see there. And of course they are uh, about the same height. I think Blaster is a little bit taller. Has a little bit of a larger head. But like I said, uh, of course I can see uh, Soundway's weapon here is his shoulder cannon. He does have a port up here for the shoulder cannon. And he can't hold that in his hand there. Blaster here. Usually carries his laser rifle in his hand. But just so you know, you can pop that out of there and... Blaster also has a port up here, and you can plug his weapon up here, just like Soundwave. Just plug it in there just like that, so he too can have a shoulder rifle, and that does not look bad at all, you know, if he needs his hands free to punch some other Decepticons and you can blast another at the same time. There you go. And one of the noticeable differences I did want to point out between these two, Blaster's arms, as you can see, rotate this way because the top of his fists are like this and sound waves do not turn that way. His stay this way, so his arms stay kind of out like this with his fists kind of like, you know, turn, they come out turned as to where blasters do not, so that is one difference they made between these two, which, that's pretty cool. Kind of a nice little thing they did there. But yeah, there they are together. And, articulation-wise, he does have nice, rashy knee joints. Blade does move. Does move at the hip here. Of the toe here. This is his hand movement just here at the wrist, just you know, up and down for transformation. And it can go all the way up to here. I leave it down to about there. Looks pretty good. And I said rotate or nice rationing elbow joint there. He does rotate out this way. So if you want to do a side punch, you can do that. Like I see this rotate up here. Can't do a full 360 at the shoulder here. And of course his head does move left and right. He does have a nice tight head joint there. Well, like I said, that's pretty much it. So I got the opening door. Just a really cool figure. Really, really awesome. <clears throat> like I said, if you can find this guy in the store, if you get lucky enough to see it, you better pick it up if you really want it because it will be gone. He does come with Steel Jaw, as I said. But a very, very nice set. Um, now, for some reason, Big Bad Toy Store sold this in a set with Grimlock. They did not offer this one by itself. I don't know why. But uh, if you pre-ordered it from Big Bad Toy Store, you had to get the set with Grimlock. And... That's what I did, because I wanted to be sure that I got this guy, and like I said, I have seen it in the store, but I only saw two, and like I said, they were gone that same day. They just disappeared, because this guy is just one of the most popular figures out there for the Fall of Cybertron line, and it does not last. So if you see it, I highly recommend you pick it up. He's an awesome, awesome figure. Really, really cool. But that's pretty much it for the Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Voyager Class Blaster with Steel Jaw. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you find it helpful. And I've got a lot of cool things coming up and coming your way. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can look me up under Opterotomus Prime. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Opterotomus.
And also check out my new website at www.optorotomusreview.com. A lot of cool stuff there, cool information, photos, and also you can see reviews there. And I'll I'll be updating that. I got a lot of, a lot of things I got to put up there. A lot of great new things. So be sure to check it out. And I will be back with some more cool stuff very very soon. I got more reviews to do. So stay tuned for more. I appreciate you watching. So until next time, this is Optorotima saying, Autobots, transform and roll out. Yeah, luck out with Blaster. Me, Grimlock, love to rock. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.